Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the den with another nursing video. Now, this video was actually brought to me by one of the viewers, one of you guys. He wanted me to talk about job and uh, job opportunities in nursing informatics. And I have four jobs within the field of nursing informatics that I'm going to talk about today. Job number one is a clinical analyst. And now this job requires a BSN or an MSN. This is within informatics, but this does not specifically require a degree in informatics, if that makes sense. You can work in hospitals, clinics, pharmaceutical companies, or research facilities. You'll monitor online workflow to be more efficient. You may install, manage, and optimize computer systems, run data reports, and look at organizations' computer systems. So this is if you don't exactly have an informatics degree, but you have an MSN with a background in computers, or if you have your BSN and you do have some background or knowledge about computers also, you could get a job doing this. Job opportunity number two. Now this is the role of informatics that I'm currently looking into, and this is the informatics nurse specialist. Minimum requirement for this is that you have a BSN, and it is preferred that you are an RN because you need that clinical background, that knowledge of what goes on in a hospital with how you can help progress systems for the nurses because you can learn the computer stuff pretty easily, but if you don't have that knowledge about how nurses work, then that's gonna be the hard part to acquire. Unlike health informatics, which is focused more on administrative issues, nursing informatics revolves around patient care, prepares new tech, and trains supporting staff on it. And these people typically work in a hospital setting. And this is pretty much the role that I want to get into for starters. But let's go ahead and talk about topic number three, which is where I could take my career after this. The third job is the director of clinical informatics. Now this requires a master's degree. This is more of a higher up position within the informatics world and may sometimes require three to five years of experience in informatics, but also some RN experience. So if you're wanting, wanting to go higher up, then having that in your resume will be really good. They oversee electronic medical record systems in hospitals and facilities, address problems in system raised in doctors raised by doctors and staff and may serve as a hospital operator leader. So this is a step up from what I want to do, but potentially where I could take my career after this. The last job I want to talk to you about is the clinical informatics coordinator. And uh, <laughs> you know, these jobs kind of seem a lot alike. So I've got my notes down on this piece of paper. Typically, a BSN is required for this. I don't know that they would hire you with an RN unless you're going to school for your BSN at least, or even if you're going to school for your MSN. So keep that in mind. May report to a manager or head of unit, provides training to staff, serves as a middleman between IT issues and users, oversight and training of EMR, electronic medical records. So these are the four roles within the informatics career, um, informatics field that I have pretty much found when doing my research and when going to look for jobs. Depending on what your degree is in or what angle you're trying to get at, you can choose one of these jobs and go with that. They all pay similarly, um, kind of the same unless you get higher up like the director, then the pay is going to be more. If you have more experience, then your pay might be more also. Thank you for recommending this video. This was an interesting one because not even I, who am getting into nursing informatics, knew too much about all the different kind of jobs and the requirements for them. If you have any questions or if you're thinking about getting into informatics, leave a comment down below. I'm gonna link a video right here um, to my nurse practitioner versus informatics. So depending on what you're gonna go to school for, you can go and watch that video. Like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.